What's happening, Night Riders? So, I'm here to give you guys a reaction to Cami versus Sonya Death Battle, Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat. Now, I didn't give you guys a reaction to the previous Death Battle um, because that involved um, characters from Red versus Blue and information of Red versus Blue that I am not currently up to yet. Yes, I understand that I've been slacking on Red vs. Blue, and I apologize. I'm just trying to catch up on other things, but I promise y'all I'm going to be jumping back onto Red vs. Blue and pumping them out uh, pretty much with every set of reaction videos that I do. Um, so, just going off of this, uh, I've... I love both Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, so this is going to be kind of hard. I don't really know too much about either character, um, but I do know slightly more about Sonya than I do Cammy. So I'm going to wait to make my decision on who I think is going to take this death battle um, after they explain to us the information. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into this. And yeah, y'all, I brought back out the hat. It's been a minute since I wore this hat in any video. Let's turn this up. For real. For real. For real. Street Fighter's assassin turned British secret <laughs> and Sonya Blade, the Special Forces General of Mortal Kombat. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Mm. Yes, teach me. For most of her life, Cammy White was a pawn of the evil Shadowloo Crime Syndicate run by the wannabe dictator M. Bison. I don't know about Pawn, she was his top bodyguard, so basically a lot more important. Maybe more like one of those horsey pieces. Damn. Like a knight? No, Wiz, the horse that moves like an L. Come on, learn your chest, you're supposed to be smart. <laughs> it says horsey piece. <laughs> Not only was she Bison's top bodyguard, but also the leader of his dolls, a group of brainwashed teenage girls trained to be ruthless, unstoppable assassins. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. Her leadership roles come not just from her skills as a killer, but also because she just so happens to be a female clone of Bison himself. How I did not man, know that. It gets weirder. Aware his psycho power was deteriorating his current body, Bison what? planned to possess hers. I have a lot of questions. Cammy what? Bison blindly until she met the mystical Yogi Dalsim, who used his power to grant her something she never had. Willpower and self awareness. Realizing that Bison is actually the bad guy, Cammy joined the Delta Red British. I never knew that. And the fight against Shadaloo. How did when I not know that? Both camps, Cammy is deadly up close with ruthless sweeping attacks, keeping her foes on the defensive. She can rush like a drill with Spiral Arrow, a move so agile it passes under projectiles. Her hooligan approach flips through the air like mm -hmm. some sort of deranged spider monkey to land a <laughs> Of extreme range, and many of her moves can leave her vulnerable if misfired. 
Um. To remake a fucking Mortal Kombat movie. Mortal Kombat, a tournament decreed by Elder Gods, where a realm or an alternate dimension may challenge another realm for world conquering rights. Sonya joined the defenders of Earth Realm to stop the evil Shao Kahn's world domination and succeeded. But most of the day, except yeah, for Johnny, of course, who married and had a kid. Lucky Johnny, I'd love to settle down with a lady that has such an impressive resume and kicking ass. Sonya <laughs> has decades of combat experience that's prepared her for pretty much anything. She's fought cyborgs, ninjas, cyborg ninjas. Her Kenpo and Taekwondo training emphasizes speed, agility, and defense. And yeah. she shows her mastery by leaping into the air, grabbing foes with her legs, and slamming them down in a backflip faster than the blink of an eye. She's got Kali Six, a wind blade, Damn, I don't know who's going to take this one. I think Cammy's gonna take it. Yeah. I think Cammy's gonna take it. Suspect in custody. But damn, I don't know. This is gonna be a hard one. I, I'm not gonna be mad no matter who wins. I think Cammy's gonna take this. This looks like the old, old ass Mortal Kombat. She 
just throw his body at her? <laughs> it's fucked up. Mad disrespectful. Did her psycho powers just kick in? <laughs> oh shit. So Damn, Cammy. Not as tough as you look. Damn. Yeah, there we go. military experience over Cammy, and it's not like she was pushing papers all that time when she wasn't chasing down war criminals on her own she was a longtime leader against multiple interdimensional invasions oh. Cammy did a lot with delta red but nothing which stacks up to sonia's resume and hey Cammy's durability of an elephant is impressive but you know what's tougher than that solid steel True. And while Cammy was adept at dodging projectiles, she couldn't keep it up against Sonya's large arsenal attacking from multiple angles at once. Oh, uh, like okay. Cammy's only half the woman Sonya is. The Fuck winner up. is Sonya Blade. <laughs> I'm not mad. I am not mad. Next time I should have went with Sonya. Something told me to go with Sonya, too. Oh, they wasted no time going into Overwatch. They wasted no channel. time. <laughs> and next time we've got Tracer from Overwatch. But who's she going to be fighting? You can find out by sticking to our Instagram. It's official screw attack and we'll be announcing her opponent very soon. That's okay. right. And you can watch all of our videos early. Can't wait to find out who she's going to fight. By becoming a first member, it's a great way to support the show. Just click the link in the description below and start a free trial. I had a feeling that they was going to take somebody from Overwatch. Show, Desk of Death Battle. We've got an episode out right now. It's all about Deadpool versus Thanos in the battlefield of love. Thanks for watching, guys. The fuck? <laughs> Alright, that death battle wasn't too bad. I should have went with Sonya. Something told me to go with Sonya. They always tell you to go with your first instinct. Um, but I'm not mad. Now, guys, post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this death battle. Uh, do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? If you disagree with it, let me know why you disagree with it. Um... So yeah, like I was saying, I always, I, well not always, but I knew that they were eventually going to take somebody from Overwatch and put them in the death battle, but I for damn sure didn't think it was going to be this soon. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very curious to see who, to find out who she's fighting. Very curious. Um, I really can't wait. <laughs> I really can't wait. So hopefully not right as you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed this death battle. Um, personally, I do wish that the animation that was used was a better one um, because the animation that was used here kind of reminded me of One Minute Melee or at least the old One Minute Melee um, I forgot I forgot what it's called but like how it's zoomed in and it looks all pixelated just me just my personal taste in it um, just personally I don't really care for that kind of animation because when you zoom in, it's kind of hard to see certain aspects of their face, like, 
you know, you can't really see facial features, and if they blink, you could kind of tell it, but it's still kind of hard. But that's just me. I'm just being picky. Um, and mainly because I know that they've done other animations besides this one, so that's why I'm being picky about it. But other than that, this is awesome. Um, I can't wait for uh, the next death battle. I really can't. I'm. Oh man, I really can't. <laughs> so again, not right. Just post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. I truly enjoyed this. And until next time, y'all, we are on our way to 50K. Ride or die, not riders. We out.